Have you ever wondered how in Canvas to get a beautiful background color? Stay tuned. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that with some very minimal HTML coding. It's really simple and anyone can do it. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to add a colored background to your page. Now this could be a page, or it could be an assignment, it could be the top of the syllabus, anywhere you get that rich text editor and the HTML editor, you can do this. So we're going to go ahead in here, and I'm just going to create a new page. And for this, I'm just going to call this a practice page. And I'm going to go ahead and put some text here. Um, maybe this is your Monday activity page. Monday activities. So I'm going to turn that into a header two. I'm going to go ahead and center that. And then I am going to insert an image. Let's see. Let's insert the little cardinal. I'm just going to slide down and make this smaller just so that I have an image here as if I'm designing with without a background color. Today's activities. And I'm going to make this larger because we know that um, in order to be accessible, you need to have at least 18 point. Okay. And so here is where some text and instruction T -R -U -C, will occur here. So I'm just going to put that in there just to have a placeholder. Okay. Just simply to have a placeholder. Okay. So and I'm going to come over to the HTML editor. Don't let this scare you. This is really, really simple. Do not let this scare you at all. Here we have HTML code that was already written by the rich content editor. So what we want to do, if this is our page, this is all the code for our page, we want to come to the beginning of the code. And we're just going to add a line. And we're going to type this simple phrase, this simple line, style equals quote, background dash color, colon, and then we have to pick a color. So for right now, I'm just going to use the word red to hold a place. So what this does is it creates a division or a container on your page and it says put everything that's in this container make the background red for everything that's in that container well when we open a container in HTML anytime we open notice we opened h2 and we closed h2 so anytime we have an open code we have to have a closed code so at the bottom of our page we're going to close our div and it's going to tell the browser that everything between these two lines is going to have a background color of red. So I'm going to save that. I don't have to publish it right now if I don't want to. But notice that I have the background activities. The background is now red. Okay. But let's say you didn't really want red. You wanted something a little more to your own personality. So I use colormind.io. It allows me to click, I'm, I can right here choose colors, but I'm going to click website colors because I want to make sure my site colors are uh, compatible with, with web browsers. So to do that, this is really cool. I can come in here and edit the color if I wish. I can lock a color. Let's say I really like that one and this one and this one. Actually, let's get rid of that one. Let's lock this one. I like these three colors, but I want to generate and see what else happens. So notice that these are locked. 
this automatically generated new colors that worked well with the other three. So you don't have to do a lot of guessing. You can continue to regenerate until you find the exact colors that you want. Okay. Now for me, then I put these codes in a file somewhere so that I know I can come back and use them. Okay. But let's just say I want this beautiful teal right here. So I am going to control C and copy that code. And I'm going to come back in and edit my page and go back to the HTML editor and where it says red right there. And I'm going to zoom in on this here in just a second so you can see it. I'm going to put hashtag or number symbol and control paste that color code from color mine, this code right here, into my HTML code and I'm going to save it. And there comes my page. Now if I go back to edit again, I can come into the accessibility feature and make sure that my page is really accessible to those students who may need a screen reader for whatever reason or have visual impairments. This allows me to check that. And look at that, no visibility issues detected because I chose colors that were compatible to the internet. Now I can save this. And if I wanted to edit again, all I would need to do is, and I can come in and edit right here. I can take, notice I have an extra line. We'll leave that extra line there. I can come in and say, Monday is a holiday. We will see you Tuesday. If I wanted to make Tuesday a link to another page, I could do that. I could do everything else I wanted to do, and it doesn't change my background color. So I hope that's been useful. Enjoy. I love to see your colorful pages. Have a great day.